Switching tracks to Jammu and Kashmir and tragic news coming in of a boat that's capsized in the Jhelum River near Srinagar. Now several are feared to be missing and rescue operations are underway. The water levels of various bodies including the Jhelum have risen due to persistent rainfall that has occurred over the last few days. At least four people are believed to have died after that boat carrying several passengers including students overturned in Jhelum. We have uh, Nazir joining us. Uh, Nazir, how many students were on that boat and that has been capsized? How many are feared to be still missing? The number of dead has risen to six. Among them are four children. They were school-going children, young children. Let me explain how it happened. These, these, these children were actually being ferried from this side to the other side. They were going to the army school. And once this boat reached to that pillar, steel pillar, it crashed with that pillar, and then the boat capsized. Around 20 people were in the boat, most of them children, 10 people have been reportedly rescued, they are being treated in different hospitals in Srinagar, and rescue operations are underway, there's complete mourning in this village, women are wailing, everybody is in a shock, how could this happen? For the last one week, there has been rains across Jammu and Kashmir. The water level in Jahrim River is rising. It's almost touching the danger mark. So because of the very heavy flow of the water, it appears that boatmen could not manage it and the boat crashed with that flow and then it capsized six people. Four of them are young children. They were the students of uh, Srinagar's army school. Let me talk to a local who is from this village. Aap batayenge ki kya hua? Sir, yahan se jab kisi gaya, usne bacha tha, uske unke maa bhi saath mein tha. To wahan poch gaya, uske saath usko takkar a gaya to sab. Usme chhe abhi dead body a gaya. Chhe body. Abhi pata nahi kitna hai. Aapke bhi rishtedar the usme bacha. So what is what is the bigger tragedy? You know, you know, young people being died in this tragedy. You can see this under construction bridge it is going on for last more than 10 years. The people here say if this bridge would have been completed, constructed in time, the lives of these young children, students would have been saved. And the students and the people of this area, which is near, which is in Srinagar city, have to take a dangerous route, even in difficult times when Jahalim is flowing above the danger mark, they have to take the boat because administration government has not been able to complete this bridge for last more than 10 years. Tragedy is this, the children who died were in fact not born at a time when the construction of bridge had started and today they have died, bridge has not been completed. That is the tragedy, that is what everyone here is saying. So why did you make this bridge? What are you telling me? Sir, what are you saying? The people are coming, the people are coming, the people are coming, जबकि इतना डैमेज हुआ हमारे साथ हमको डॉक्टर के पास जाना होता है तो तो किस चीज से जाना पड़ता है किसी जगह भी जाना पड़ता है तो किसी से बुजुर्ग बच्चे को बाहर जाना पड़ता है डॉक्टर के पास जाना पड़ता है तो इसी किस चीज से हमको बहुत दिक्कत है बहुत मुश्किल आत हमको पड़ गया इसे देखो अभी क्या हुआ सब जवाब कहते कितने अभी लापता हैं हमें पता चला 10 या 12 अभी भी लापता हैं सर अभी लगभग लगभग इसमें तो 20 बंदा था अभी पता नहीं चल रहा है कौन कौन अभी दो एक बाप भी है एक बेटा भी उसका भी पता नहीं वो कहाँ है मेरा चचरा भाई का बेटा उसका भी पता नहीं वो कहाँ है अभी लेडीज़ दो तीन भी है वो भी पता नहीं वो कहाँ है राइट सो सिंस मॉर्निंग वांस दिस ट्रेजेडी हैपेन दिस बोट कैप साइज रेस्क्यूअर्स आ दिया दे ऑन द बोट्स एसडीआरएफ द to try, they are trying their best to save lives, but looks like the, given the flow of the water, huge water volume in Jahlim River, as I said, it has been, it was raining for last one week, but the
tragedy for these the people here is that you know deficit in the development is taking the lives of people if this bridge was completed in time the lives of these so many these lives of young children and people would have been saved but who would be held responsible why this bridge could not be completed perhaps none but the fact it is the children if you see here in this neighborhood people are crying they are wailing they couldn't believe that the children they sent their children to school army school today which is just right next to this you know on the other side of the river but as this boat reached that steel pillar it crashed with that pillar and then since then this 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 uh, rescue operation is on but so far six bodies have been recovered officials say uh, 10 more people have been recovered but what 20 people were in this boat there is no idea what is happening what has happened with those people others who are missing mostly children but the rescue operation is still underway here in jahlim river in srinagar well nazir uh, uh, unfortunately very tragic that six people have lost their lives including children uh, we do know that there were students uh, on board uh, that uh, uh, you know boat uh, or going to school uh, take us through how many students so far have been rescued well uh, details are actually sketchy we don't want to say anything which is not confirmed what we can say six people four of them are children they have died around 20 people were in the boat i just spoke to district magistrate srinagar he said he's uh, verifying more details getting more details and he'll get back about what has happened but rescue operation is underway there are large number of people who have been part of this rescue operation only everybody is trying to save lives but this is a huge huge tragedy where parents send their children to school but they have to take this dangerous route despite the you know heavy water flow in this river the you know boats uh, crashed with that pillar and this boat capsized six people have died and around 10 are still missing right uh, razeer uh, the csdrf team uh, that has been deployed to help in the rescue operations of those who are missing uh, here's hoping that uh, those who are missing can be found at the soonest thank you nazir for joining us with all those details